So there was a play that took place last night in the playoff game between the Reds and the Giants that was something that I thought anybody who was keeping score at home, um, and particularly if you're an official scorer at some kind of level, you would be interested in this play. So we're going to take a look at that. So in the bottom of the first inning, Brandon Phillips for the, the Reds, he led off with a single, and so he was standing on first base. Uh, and then Zach Cozart came up next for the Reds. And so Cozart had a 1-2 count on him. Um, and on the very next pitch, Phillips went. He went on the pitch and tried to seal second base. But it just so happened that that pitch uh, from the, the Giants pitcher Ryan Vogelsong, he actually bounced uh, the pitch in the dirt. And so Phillips was able to make it to second base pretty easily. And so that's the, 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 the first lesson here is that because Phillips was attempting to steal on the pitch, he still gets credit for the stolen base. Um, if he was not going on the pitch and then, so if he was still standing on first base, whenever the pitch had bounced in the dirt and then he, he started to run towards second is once he had seen the ball bounce and he makes it into second base safely, then that would be a wild pitch. But because he was going before the ball bounced, uh, he's credited with that stolen base. So that's something that you always want to pay attention to um, if you're keeping score of the game, is that on every pitch, is the runner going or is he not? Because if that ball bounces in the dirt and the runner slides into second base, you know, you're going to have to know, was he going or not? Because that would determines, is this a wild pitch? Or is this a stolen base? And um, you probably won't, especially at the lower levels, you're probably not going to have the benefit of instant replay to see if he was, in fact, going on that play. But that's not really what I wanted to look at. The thing um, on this play that's a little more interesting is that what happened uh, after Phillips made it to second base. And that was that once he made it to second base, he saw that the ball had gotten away uh, from Buster Posey, from the Giants catcher. And so he kept running. He started to run. Phillips started to run toward third base. Um, and so Posey was able to get over to the ball to pick it up, and he made a great throw down to to third base. So the, the Giants third baseman, Pablo Sandoval, he was over covering. Uh, Posey makes a, a good throw, and Phillips then was tagged out at third base. Uh, so the question here is, is the, what, what is this out at third base? What is that considered? Is he caught stealing? Because remember here, if, if Posey couldn't get the ball quick enough, or he didn't make as accurate a throw, Phillips would have moved from second to third on the wild pitch not on a, a second stolen base. So should we really say he was caught stealing here if, had he been safe, he would not have gotten credit for a stolen base? Uh, and so so basically the answer is, is no, and the, the answer for that is pretty much, or the reason for that is pretty much why I just described, um, is because he's not going to get credit for a stolen base, so why, why would we... Uh, punish Phillips in a way, punish his stats, and, and say he was caught stealing. Um, so then, well, if it's not caught stealing, what is it? Um, basically, it's, it's nothing, really. It's just a put-out. And so Phillips would simply be put out with the, the, the catcher to the third baseman, so uh, just a 2-5 out. Um, and then, of course, again, Phillips, he's considered from having gone from first to second, on the stolen base because he was uh, running before that that pitch bounced and then the out at third base then would be a 2-5 um, and so then this is a, a great little almost a game you can can play about situations and odd situations and things going on like this so so what was our situation here? We have a runner on first base, and the catcher 
uh, somehow mishandles the ball. So then you can bring in all these different scenarios based around this play. So if the, the runner, what if he's second at second base? So or safe at second base. So just like on this play, well, was he going on the pitch? Yes, he was going on the pitch. So he would be credited with that stolen base, as Phillips was. Um, what if he he didn't run until the ball reached the plate? Well, if he didn't run until then, then it would be either a wild pitch or a pass ball, depending on did the catcher miss it or did, did the ball bounce or uh, you know where was the, the pitch. So it could be one of those. Um, what happens if the, the the catcher throws him out at second base? It, well, if he was going on the pitch and the catcher bobbles it and picks it up and he's still able to throw him out, it's still a caught stealing. But then if he was not going on the pitch, if he sees the ball, bounce in the dirt, tries to, to run towards second, so had he gotten there and it would have been called a, a wild pitch, uh, it's not a caught stealing again, it would be a put out. Um, so it's not a caught stealing or a stolen base. And so you can do that with all kind of different situations. You can see one play happen and, and then think, well, what would have happened if if this had changed, if he was safe instead of out or, or something to that effect. So so that was the play. Brandon Phillips, one stolen base and put out, not caught stealing at third.